It's time for testing. It's time for technology. It's time to go fast. Or is it? It's time for the ADATA XPG XS 8200M.2 NVMe SSD. <sighs> I've showed this box to you before in a previous video where I talked about the history of storage. So if you haven't watched that yet, what the hell are you doing? Go watch that. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. Because if you had that, probably would have seen that video already. But if you haven't, it's okay. You go watch it now. And to make it easy, I've even put it up there for you. So just click that thing and then you can watch it. But then come back and watch this one because this is where we tell you how good it is. Here it is right here. It's not the whole card. It's just this little bit here. But I've got it mounted in a PCIe card so I can put it into my PC because my motherboard does not have a PCIe M.2 slot. It will still run at full speed because it's going straight into the PCIe lanes, which is fantastic. So without further ado, let's get it into the computer. Now usually mounting stuff isn't too much of an issue, but as you can see, I've got a vertical mounted GPU, which means that all of my slots are covered, which in a day-to-day -day environment is a good thing. But when you're trying to upgrade your PC, it's, it's a little bit tricky. So what I'm gonna have to do is take out my fun novelty thing. So my little 3D printed PUBG frying pan, my cheeky little deal with it glasses. Mm. And then finally the graphics card. However, as it's on at the minute, I'm gonna turn my computer off so I can then slot my card in. Oh. Pop tip, you don't need that anti-static wristband stuff. It just makes you look like a silly person and people are gonna bully you. Touch metal and you'll be okay. With my vertical mounted GPU, it's super easy to get in and out. Super easy to get in and out. Super easy to get in and out. Get out of there. Ah, oh, come on. There, oh. But I'm hoping there's enough room for this just to slide down underneath. There we go. Cool. Now, so in theory, everything should be fine. Come on now, give us the postcode. Go to Windows. Go, way! Hooray, we're loading. Windows is coming, baby! Yes! First things first, I need to take this hoodie off because it's so hot in here! Second thing next, we need to do something called initializing it or set up the volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to press start, write compute, and then open computer management. And we're going to go to disk management and hopefully it will just automatically... There we go, look at that! You must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. So we're going to do that. We're going to call it, let's call it A for A data. Or actually, can we call it X? Let's call it X for XPG. What I am going to do now is quickly do a test to see how fast it can move data around. So let me find some data that I can put on there. Maybe a game, because I this is on a uh, this is on an M2 as well. So let's see how fast I can move a Steam game across. It should hopefully be pretty bloody quick. So this will be going from a Samsung Evo 970 500 gig to the ADATA XPG XS8200. 74 gig. All right, I'm going to cut it. Cut. And this is not like a very scientific test, by the way, but it's a test anyway, because it's interesting to see. And go. Let's see. Fuck me. Did you see that? It was at a gig. Look at that. That I. Whoa. Okay. I'm. Pr I'm happy with that. It started off at a gig. It literally had on there a gig, and now it's gone down to 750 megabytes a second. Oh my. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do apologize. Bloody hell. That is so quick. I have never experienced speeds like that before on this computer. This is madness. Well, isn't this interesting? So I've got the 500 gig 970 Evo, write speeds, 2300 megabytes a second. And then if we look over here, the NVMe 1.3 protocol, which the ADATA XPG XS 8200 has, which I have, up to 3000 megabytes a second. AS SSD benchmark, perfect. Let's go through the ages. Let's start off with the Samsung 960, then we'll go to the 970, and then we'll go to the XPG. The test was taking ages, so I just let it run and Here's the results. This test has just produced some interesting results because it seems that the sequential read and write speeds is lower on the ADATA XPG. Hmm. So I'm going to do one final test to see who is the victor and who is faster 
between the A-Data XPGXS8200 and the Samsung Evo 970. So first of all, I'm gonna move Counter-Strike Global Offensive to the Evo 970 in three, two, one. There we go, so we are off. Speeds increasing 200, 300, 4, 500, 6, so wow, it went up to a gig then. It went to 0 0.98 gigabytes. Over a gig is the fastest which we had on the XPG, but that is still very impressive speeds nonetheless. And done. 41 seconds. Not a very bad speed at all. Now, the XPG. What do we think it's going to be? Go! Right, and we're off with general speeds. Now we're going up, we're going up. We get 100 megabyte, 200 meg, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is it gonna, oh no, it's not. It stopped at 750. But will it be more consistent in these paces? Oh, it slowed down way too far. Oh my days. And there we go, there we have it. So in this test, 57 seconds. I'm gonna do this one more time just to see if there were any anomalies during that test. Counter-Strike moving test number two. And there we go, 46. Now let's get on the XPG. Oh, oh, it was faster. It was faster, 45 seconds. Beaten by an entire second. Oh my days. I'm gonna do another test. What's gonna happen in this one? Okay, here we go. We're getting to the end and we're done. A blistering 39 seconds. Well, there you have it. So it's faster than a Samsung. Let's see how much they are as well. A data, XPG, 240 gig GT, 64 pounds. There is no way that the Samsung Evo is gonna be anywhere near that price. There we go, look at that, 69 pounds. That is not bad actually, that is a good price, but you know what it's not as good as? And you know what it's not as fast as? That one there, the A-Data XS8200. My mind is blown a bit, like genuinely, my mind is blown. I thought when I got it through, I was like, oh yeah, great, I'm gonna test it out and I'm gonna realize it's not as good performance, but because it costs less, then it makes it fine. But it's better and it costs less. Why can't you make like a Saturday version instead? Oh, damn it. Oh well. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Also, a big shout out to A Data for giving me one of their wonderful. Let's try this one more time. A Data XPG M.2 NVMe XS8200 PCIe 3 times 4. SSDs. I think I've got everything in there. Thank you very much for sending it my way. It was an absolute pleasure working with, and I hope we can again in the near future. See you later.